We have some uh, social media questions. Christy Mint on Twitter, I loved your performance in Disconnect. What was it like to fight Jason Bateman? Uh, it was fun, and, and I had to be very careful because Jason Bateman uh, doesn't really, hasn't ever really had a fight, and uh, I love him. He's funny and fun and a great actor. Yeah. But it was, you know, it, when, you, when you have to do things with guys who are less experienced, you have to be really cautious. Did you punch him? I didn't. He punched me. A couple times, yeah. Because I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a door, and he's got to punch his hand through the screen. I said, Jason, just know the distance. First punch, he hit me right in the face. <laughs> Brooklyn boy on the Larry King Now blog. What fighter from yesteryear do you wish you could step into the ring with? Uh, Marciano. Yeah, Rocky Marciano. Yeah. Never took a step back. Nope. What about Sugar Ray? Robinson. Um, Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the greatest ever. I mean... In three different divisions. Three different divisions, and really, really kind of changed boxing. He really kind of uh, put boxing into the future with his the way he angled himself and the way he knew how to move... Predecessor to Ali. Yeah. Brooklyn Boy also asked, do you think MMA will surpass boxing as the world's biggest combat sport? Um, it, it might because of what's behind MMA and the UFC and the amount of money uh, it, it may. But, you know, to me, they're just entirely different sports. I don't see, I don't ever compare boxing to MMA. Why would anyone want to be an MMA fighter? That's a great question because it's, it's like assault. Kick, and, shove, kick. Those are the I toughest. love the instructions before the fight. The referee, <laughs> all right, go out and have a good time. <laughs> right. I mean, it, th these are some of the bravest human beings I've ever... You know, what they put themselves through. And they don't make the money that a lot of no. boxers make. They don't. A lot of them don't. It is comes out of... This is, again, going back to fight world, I'm so enamored by what would, would make a human being, man or woman, do this. Boxing big in Israel? Uh, it is. It is. I had a great boxing a boxing gym that I fought in in Israel. Really good guys. At MD Grindbot asks, what kind of shampoo do you use? <laughs> that's been, that's a strange one, but that's what he wants to I'll know. tell you the truth. I don't wash my hair but a couple times a week, and whatever shampoo is in my shower is the shampoo I use. Me too, and a yeah. guy does it, and I don't know what he uses. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Austin Shays on Facebook. What's been the toughest action scene you've ever had to shoot? Um, the, the scenes that I had to do in Wolf Warrior, the fight scenes, because of the, there are no real regulations in the film business in China, they were on for like 15 hours. So that was probably the toughest. Yeah. Yeah, you could work 22 hours a day if, if, if they want you to. Really? Yeah. Morgan Shave on the Larry King Now blog. You play mostly tough guy roles. Could we see you in a more lighthearted film? Maybe a comedy? You know, I, I do have a movie coming out. It's called The Night Three Opened. Uh, it's it's myself, Naomi Watts, and Bobby Cannavale and some other oh, I love actors. Bobby Cannavale. Bobby's amazing. And it's about this family in, in uh, Staten Island, 1984, when Rocky opens. But it's about the... the I have a son who's, who's gay and is cross-dressing. And it really is a coming-of-age story wrapped around this n big night in Staten Island. And What's I just, the title? It, uh, the Night 3 opened. It'll probably change. James DeMonico, who created the Purge series, wrote and directed it. It's a beautiful story. And I just play a, a regular dad who's got to face reality. Yeah. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.